Okay, this is video two of the Curator Contender setup. So I'm going to start up the system. And it will default to your work screen. This is your work screen. This is where you do all the curation and everything else. Now, before you do uh, anything like that, the first thing you want to do is create a new project. And I'm going to call this project um, Curation Contender. Curator Contender. And the niche is my website or curation. Then you want to do, you want to go to settings here and you want to set up your keywords. So I'm going to use curation article marketing and curation ranking with curated articles i'm going to use three in this case i don't need much uh, for this for this project um so the next thing i want to do you want to do is click here on populate and this will auto populate these fields your introduction paragraph your pre curation header your closing paragraph and the attribution text with your keywords there so i'm going to hit that button now you you're not these are ready to go you can use them as is but if you want to change this you can all you've got to do is click here at the bottom where it says unlocked and you can alter this text to be whatever you want now this is generic and once my keywords are added it's not going to be generic anymore it's going to be it's going to fit my niche but you do have the option to change it if you want you can always change your default fall, uh, fallback text i'm going to leave that locked now for images i'm going to need some images i want some images in my in my posts in my my, my backlink posts so i'm going to use automated images yes and then I'm going to select, um, let's say, Internet marketing. This is Internet marketing, so curation, article marketing, Internet marketing. So then I want to see what my images look like. I hit that. And OK, this is a good. And, and the alt text uh, tag for this uh, image is going to be curation. The alt tag for this one is going to be curation as well again curation article marketing and curation article marketing and curation again ran, uh, ranking with curated articles so i'm happy with these images they're, they're good enough and the next thing i want to do is i want to put in my third party videos now why would i use third party videos it's because these videos are very very relevant to the post I'll be making. So I want to make it absolutely clear what my post is about. And the best way to do that is to look for one of the, you know, very best ways to do that is to find a video, find videos that rank for that topic and use them in your content. Now I'm going to my curated section <clears throat> and then I am going to populate my introduction my closing paragraph and my introduction i want to make that bold so i hit that button and my closing paragraph i want to make that bold too you can choose between bold italic underline uh, strong and emphasize and i'm going to go with bold in this case okay so now i've got my third party videos in I've got an introduction paragraph, I've got a closing paragraph, and I have some random images there. Well, random images for this niche. So the next thing uh, I will need is a spun article. 
and I'm going to grab my article. In fact, let me do this. I'm going to put an H4 around this. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. It just because I have a subtitle here, I'm going to use it. So I'm going to copy that, the whole thing. And I will place it in my spun article section. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to let the system automatically make me 30 different titles. Now, these titles are pre-spun. So actually, you get closer to about 150 or more titles. So I'm going to hit the automate button. And that will take a second. And there are my titles. So you can see, actually, that's way, way more than I would need for this. But OK, I'm going to go with that. And then I'm going to add this article to my spin block. Boom. Now, you can see at the bottom here, every time I add something, one of these fields uh, pops up. So that means these are available in the system. So I could make a curated block of content using all these fields that are available right here. So that's uh, for this part of the setup. And uh, I will continue in the next video how to add your curated content. Thanks for watching.